Hi, David Gross. My questions for you are, is the notion of time a necessary component of string theory? And do you think it is even possible for the human brain to ever really understand the universe? Hi, Meredith. Um, so you ask, is the notion of time a necessary component of string theory? And the answer is, so far, absolutely. Um, in fact, it's a bit frustrating that it is hard to give up the notion of time in string theory. We have examples now which are really intriguing, in which space, some approaches to constructing solutions of string theory uh, give, are better described in terms of a framework in which there are fewer or no spatial dimensions. So there's space is an emergent uh, property of physics at large distances. And that's a very exciting concept that the notions of space that space is not a fundamental uh, component of our description of nature, but rather an emergent concept. It might even solve certain problems that we face. But um, it has not been possible so far to do that with time. Uh, time is very special, very different than space. Physics is about time, you know, in a sense. Uh, physics, the job of physics is to predict the future given the present. So it would be hard to do away without time, to do away with time and to have a description without the conventional time because we wouldn't know what the purpose of physics was. If there was no time, what would it mean to predict the future given the present? Uh, and yet, um, I tend to suspect that our notions of time will eventually be modified as we learn more and more about what string theory really is. And believe me, we don't truly know yet, and uh, but how it will, how we'll be able to do without or to regard time itself as an emergent concept, um, is beyond me at the moment. Uh, you had a second question: uh, Is it even possible for the human brain to comprehend the universe? Um, it could be that our brain is limited. Uh, you know, I have two dogs, and I've tried to teach them quantum mechanics and they just don't get it. No matter how hard I try, they're unable to understand quantum mechanics. And so we, we understand that some species um, are, it's beyond their capacity to comprehend certain things that we understand, and it might be beyond our capacity to understand the principles that govern uh, the universe. Uh, I'm not sure that that's the case because there are certain tools that we possess, like language and uh, an advanced form of language, which is mathematics, that seem to have infinite capability. They, 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 they might not be enough to understand the universe, but they do have a lot, perhaps infinite capability. We can, you can, in fact, compose sentences and utter them that have never been uttered before. So language itself already has a kind of infinite capability, and mathematics appears to build on that. So we might be able to. We don't know. Uh, and the only way we're going to find out is to try. If we sense at some point that the questions are getting too hard for us to answer, and that people, young people entering a field are faced with difficulties that they cannot surmount, then we might begin to wonder whether we, like dogs, uh, have a limit to our capabilities and will not be able to understand the universe. Um, there's no evidence of that happening yet. If it does happen, we always have another out. We can start modifying ourselves. And we're going to probably do so anyway in order to improve our capabilities. So I'm optimistic.